Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 27 of Introduction to C++ Programming here on sololearn.com. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get started with dynamic memory. Okay, so uh, static and dynamic memory. To be successful as a C++ programmer, it's essential to have a good understanding of how dynamic memory works. In a C++ program, program memory is divided into two parts. So the stack, all of your local variables take up memory from the stack, and then you have the heap unused program memory that can be used when the program runs to dynamically allocate the memory. Many times you're not aware in advance how much memory you will need to store particular information in a defined variable and the size of required memory can be determined at runtime. You can allocate memory at a runtime at runtime within the heap for the variable of a given type using the new operator which returns the address of the space allocated. So that's good for uh, like debugging purposes I'm guessing. And this allocates the memory size necessary for storing an integer on the heap and returns that address. Cool. So type in the code that allocates memory for an int variable. Use the new, new keyword. So uh, new int, I guess. Awesome. So dyna dynamic memory. Uh, the allocated address can be stored in a pointer, which can then be dereferenced to access the variable. So here we're storing int um, pointer dereference equal to the allocation of the int variable, and then we set it equal to 5. So we have dynamic dynamically allocated memory for an integer and then assigned it the value of five. Now it says the pointer P is stored in the stack as a local variable and holds the heap's allocated address as its value. The value of five is stored in that address in the heap. Cool. So uh, type in a code that declares a pointer to int, okay? And um, and then and it's used to hold the address returned by the new int expression. Cool. Uh, for local variables on the stack, Managing memory is carried out automatically. On the heap, it's necessary to manually handle the dynamically allocated memory and use the delete operator to free up the memory when it's no longer needed. So here we have this delete operator deleting the pointer. Uh, okay, and uh, we're just freeing up the memory. So forgetting to free up memory that has been allocated with the new keyword will result in memory leaks because that memory will stay allocated until the program shuts down. So unlike JavaScript, it, in these cases, because it's stored on the heap, um, and uh, you know you're setting it you have to actually dynamically or you have to update it and delete it so what keyword is used to free up the allocated memory in C++ that's delete awesome um, dangling pointers the delete operator frees up the memory allocated for the variable but does not delete the pointer itself as the pointer is stored on the stack pointers that are left pointing to non-existent memory locations are called dangling pointers for example here we have the dereference of P set equal to the memory of the integer and we set p equal to 5. We delete the p but p is still a dangling pointer and uh, so what we have to do is actually just assign it to this is like the garbage collection that you have to implement uh, to the new integer and the null pointer is a constant with a value of 0 that is defined um, in several of the standard libraries including iostream. It's a good practice to assign null to a pointer variable when you declare it because you do not have exact address to be assigned. A pointer assigned to Null is called a null pointer. For example, int pointer equals null. Cool. So type in a code to allocate uh, memory for an int on the heap, point it to with pointer, and then free the allocated memory. Okay, so we'll say new int, and then uh, let's go ahead and delete this pointer. Make sure we got that right. Cool. And uh, finally, dynamic memory. Dynamic memory can also be allocated for arrays. For example, we have this dereference of p set equal to null, and we request the memory of an integer. Um, of an integer array of uh, 20, and then finally we're going to delete this array. Uh, okay, so dynamic memory allocation is useful in many situations, such as when your program depends on input. Um, as an example, when your program needs to read an image file, it doesn't know in advance the size of the image file and the memory necessary to store the image. Cool. So which of the following is a correct statement? Select all that apply. So delete uninstalls the program from your computer? No. New returns a floating point number? Uh, no. Delete deallocates memory on the heap? Yes. And new allocates space dynamically on the heap? I think it's these two. Hopefully I'm right. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So that was it for, um, make sure I got this right. That was it for part 27 of uh, Introduction to C++ here on sololearn.com. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment. Please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.